big old toy nerds back once again with another review. Today I'm going to be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Mole Rat. A uh, figure I've been waiting on for quite some time and thankfully it is now in hand and I'm excited to crack it open. So let's have a look at it. Alright, so you're just looking at the cover here, you've got the imagery, loadout, some nice artwork here. QR code and number 94. And let's have a closer look back here. You can see uh, the mask on the right and a look at uh, what I believe to be the um, reader on his chest up here. And our favorite little skill roles and levels of mastery. And if you look in here closely, I'll see if I can get that little touch bigger from left to right first one is environmental specialist and he's a level one the second one is biohazard detector and he's a level two and the third one which is interesting i don't know how well you can see that but it is like a file with like a line through it and that actually is classified and he's a level one now if we're looking at the front and you know referring to the dark energon side of things which is you know obviously the result of his mutation uh i dare say that is what that's indicating and he's on it we're on a need to know basis the fourth one is science and he's level one so yeah he is pretty basic in terms of you know his skill set um cobra's just throwing him down underground and getting him to dig away so that's basically the packaging. There's not much more to it than that. So let's rip into the box. All right, so I've removed the figure from his cardboard coffin. And as you can see, you've got the lovely artwork here. He's not so lovely looking. And then you've got the figure. And if we bring him in close, you can see that he is uglier than a hat full of assholes. That face sculpt's fantastic, and I look forward to uh, seeing this glow in the dark when this room is fully dark, which it isn't because it's daytime now. But yeah, he's he's grim, man. So yeah, this is, a, I believe, like some sort of dark energy on meter, I'm guessing. Um, you got some nice tooling across here. Hose attaches in, into there. Well, it's actually fi fixed. It's not, it doesn't attach, I beg your pardon. Cobra sigil there. I really love the paint decos of this figure actually. And the fact that it's a new character. A lot of people are like, I don't need that in my collection. Well, good for you. But if you do need the mole rat and that's why you're here watching this, then get him. Don't listen to other people. So that's the figure. I have taken the liberty of opening up the accessories and placing them in here because I find the sound of the paper irritating and after watching my last video back I decided that you know what we, you don't need to listen to that either neither do I so I'm just going to tip these out and we're going to get into them all right so we'll start with the alternate head or the mask I should say that's it there it's very mole looking Hans Mole Man, if you will. So yeah, it's got some nice ribbing through here to simulate the hood, the hooded effect, which he also has here. That needs to be noted. That's actually a hood. It's not part of his head. So yeah, that's nice. We'll get that on there in a second. We've got what appears to be a lantern, I'm guessing. It looks like it. If you ask me, to light his way through the tunnels or underground, wherever he might be. It's nothing special, but there's like a little paint deco on there. We've got the, the backpack here, some good detailing across there. It's, it's got like some, a ventilation system and the hose up here. Um, this is very similar to the torpedo backpack in that it's form fitting, so it'll fit nice and snug. You know what? Let's just go ahead and pop that on there now. 
or it should fit nice and snug, or it's going to make me a liar. Yeah, no, that goes in pretty well. I'm actually digging these these other, other sort of backpacks that they've started doing, as opposed to the ones that don't sit flush on the back. You can see that is pretty flush. And next up, a few more pieces here. That appears to be some sort of weapon. I'm getting all the drill. That might be part of the drill, actually. Yep, I dare say it is. And that will be the second part. And that should just go in like so. I'm guessing. Is that one? Yep. There is a plug there. If you can see it, it does fit. Theoretically, it should just slide in. Oh, it's a bit tight. That's what she said. And uh, yeah, in terms of this weapon, it's pretty straight. And it's a little gummy. It's not too bad. I'll get that on him in a minute. Here's a look at the other little piping. I'll touch on that in a moment. And finally, I'm guessing this is like a little Geiger counter or something. I'm sure I'll figure it out once I get it all together. Uh, and lastly, and this piece is in a bit of cardboard, so I'm just going to Break that seal, get that out, and this is the drill bit. So this can attach to there, by the looks of it. Just pull that out, just slide that in, like so. The drill bit accessory on that's nice. It actually looks quite drill like <laughs> surprisingly um, no like the detailing on it's really nice and it's actually straight which is fantastic all right let's get him all kitted up so I've gone ahead and put the masked head on and if you look in here there's a little hole just there for the piping to go into it should just go in there relatively easily. Fingers crossed. Yep, that just sits in there. Like so. Apologies for the lighting in here today. It is overcast and disgusting outside. And even though I've got a light on here and I am using a lamp, it is still quite dark. Now, let's have a look at his joints. Yep. Very easy to move those up, which is good. He's got the ankle rockers here. Fire swivel there. Fire swivel there. Get him into a T pose and have a look. Yep, no issues there. No issues there. I'm wondering about the ab crunch though with this. Yeah, he doesn't have a great ability to ab crunch because of this secondary here. With the piping on, it does come loose when you do swivel his head though. And the backpack does come a bit loose, but you can just push that back in. But I guess for posing purposes, that is what it is. But as an environmental trooper, pretty damn cool. So let's give him his drill. I'm just wondering where that other hose goes though. That's what I am trying to figure out. His hands aren't very pliable to get this in, but that's nothing unusual for a classified figure. But there we go, that's all sorted. There he is with his drill in hand. 
That's a cool accessory. I really like that actually. It looks good on the figure. And now this pipe, where am I gonna put this? Figure this out. A minute. I'm just going to sit him here for a moment. So we're just going to take this little bit here, and we're going to put it on this little spot here. If you can see that, and the best way to do it is to just twist until it's upright, and then connect it to the hole in his mask here. And then he is ready for environmental battle. He looks tough, man. I really love this figure. I'm so happy with it. It's Lenny and co have done a great, great thing to add him to the line. Um, now I'm gonna give him his little and this is a dark energy on counter. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked into it, but or meter maybe. I don't know. Some storytelling is required. If you hear my wife sneezing in the background, apologies. And there he is. So good. You can see this figure would blend well with like other futuristic lines too. Like, yeah, he'd probably fit. He'd fit right in. He'd fit right in in uh, Fresh Monkey Fiction's upcoming uh, Monster Force line. Like seamless fit, in my opinion. Um, I've got to give a shout out to Return of the Nerd uh, Gaz out of Taiwan. Uh, again, I got this figure from him recently. Um, so if you're looking to possibly get some more mole wrap, I'm not too sure if he's got any more coming in, but maybe, uh, shoot him a message. Uh, he may have some lined up. I'm not too sure. Um, you can find him on YouTube or Instagram. I'll leave, uh, a link in the video to his YouTube so you can have a look there. Um, but if you want to find him on Instagram, just search return of the nerd and you'll find him easily enough and you can shoot him a message and ask him. Uh, where things are up with that. But in terms of this figure, in my opinion, four and a half sharks out of five. I'm stoked with it. I love the look of it. I love the accessories. I love uh, the fact that it's a new character and that you know we have the potential to see it expanded more in the comic books. Um, and yeah, you know, we haven't got a Toxo Viper yet, so this is the next best thing. I'm stoked with it and uh, highly recommend it. Um, they haven't been easy to get so far, so, you know, good luck with that. But yeah, try Gary um, and see how you go. But thanks again for watching. Uh, thank you to uh, my recent subscribers as well as my existing ones. I appreciate your support. If you're new to the channel and you've liked the review, um, please flick me a like and please subscribe. It'd be much appreciated um, as I tally ho forward to try and get to 500 followers, followers, subscribers. Sorry, I'm thinking in Twitter terms. But yeah, that's the mole wrap. Um, and while you're here, if you haven't checked out any of my other reviews and unboxings, then go back and have a look. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Day.